Mario, tough loss. Obviously, didn't come to start right with the bounce. Obviously, just, you just put you guys on the back foot right away. No, I actually thought our first period was pretty good. Um, I thought, you know, despite that, that early goal that, you know, they had a, they got a bounce on. I thought we actually recovered pretty well, and um, you know, I think the second period really hurt us tonight. Uh, just fell behind and, and got it, you know, too loose. Um, and let our emotions, I think, get the best of us there in the second. But, um, you know, the bounce is unfortunate, but it happens. And I thought we, I don't think that really changed the, the momentum of, of the game for us. I thought it was more in the second period. You've talked about, you know, the human feeling of, you know, losing streaks this year. A guy like Duclair, obviously, right before the game, is, is announced he's traded to, to Tampa Bay. What does it mean to lose a guy like that? Just in a game like this, just that energy that he brings? Yeah, it's tough. It's like this, you know, it's, it's a kind of a part of the game. Um, you know, around this time of year, that that kind of stuff happens, and obviously he's been pretty hot lately too, and 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 big piece for us, um, especially in the last you know couple of weeks, uh, his offense and scoring the goals that he has been scoring. So uh, that sucked, and obviously not having Barbie tonight, um, you know, sucked as well. So, but like I said, like it's it's a part of the game, and um, you know, we as um, we as players have to do our best to. to you know, not let those distractions get in the way of the task at hand. And, um, but yeah, it is definitely human nature. It's in the back of your mind. And uh, we're going to miss a guy like Dookie. And I don't know what the status is with Barbie right now. But uh, yeah, we're going to miss, miss Dookie for sure. It's the biggest thing you're going to miss about having him as a teammate. And on the ice and off the ice, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've said this before. Like, his his energy is, is great. Um, you know, is the way he plays on the ice is kind of replicates how he is off the ice too. He's high energy. He's a great, you know, he's, he's a selfless guy. Um, you know, he's always pumping other guys up and making them feel good about themselves when they have success out there on the ice. That's something I really, really notice and, and you know, love about Dukey. And, um, you know, his, his, his personality and his energy is infectious. And um, I think that, uh, you know, Tampa is, is really going to benefit from that. <coughs> 20 games left here. How do you guys try to keep the spirits up here? And you know, some more guys might be might be on the way out. How do you guys try to keep things try to keep things positive? I guess? It's up to us as you know athletes to to do our job and and you know only focus on the things that that we can control. And and you know our goal is to continue to get better and improve. And yes, it's it's not easy losing guys at the deadline. Um, I've kind of been this is my fifth year in the league here, and we've kind of been at that that stage where we've gotten rid of some guys and um, it sucks but uh, like I said you know we get paid to do what we love to do here and it's important that we continue to to do what we love to do at the highest level that we can and um, that's you know that's our job so it's, it's a non-negotiable thing. When did you guys find out about the trade? Um, <coughs> just before the game like we heard bickering about it so um, just for yourself, this trade deadline, of course, like you mentioned, it's your fifth one. Is it, I don't want to use the word easier, but you're just kind of used to it, or is this one harder for you in particular? Or just how you can you just describe your own feeling? No, I'm not used to it, I don't think. Um, every mo every trade deadline is definitely hard. Um, you know, it's it's not easy. At least every one that I've been a part of has been tough. And, um, you know, it's just a part, like I said, it's a part of the game, and, and it's it's something that I understand, but it's never, you know, it never gets easier to lose guys that, you know, you played with and developed a relationship with. And then, um, but, uh, you know, we wish the people that aren't here are the people that, that go somewhere else uh, in the situation that we're in that, you know, we wish them the success and, and not the best of luck. And in Dookie's case, it's, uh, you know, that's what we hope for him. You wait for the day. A couple more. You guys can be buyers at the deadline. Are you optimistic that day could come, you know, fairly soon here? I'm always positive. Um, you know, I'm always excited to for for another opportunity. Um, and uh, you know, because you never know how long th those opportunities are going to last. And so I, I, I try not to take anything for granted. And I'm always positive. And um, you know, there's nothing. You know, you know just the thought of of that. Um, you know, excites me, right? So it's that's. I mean, that's the goal uh, for 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 myself for this organization um, to be at. So um, yeah, that's you know, something that we 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 always have our, in our mind on looking to to get to. A game like tonight, how do you keep uh, the spirits up of a young goalie like uh, Magnus? I mean, it's 
you know, he, he's at this level for a reason. Um, he, he, I don't want to say that he's a guy that, you know, he relies on us to have to keep him up. You know, he's a guy that, you know, he's here for a reason. And, I, and I'm sure, like, as a goaltender, it's, it's definitely not easy for any player. Um, it's not easy when things may not be going your way. And, you know, I thought he had an amazing, uh, amazing night in, in Dallas. Uh, and I, you know, tonight, just a couple bad balances, and we could have played much better in front of him. So, um, there's always something you can say and, and, you know, keep him positive and, you know, give him a tap and, and say, keep going. Um, but I don't, I don't think he, you know, I don't think he, he struggled tonight. I think that we really just, you know, we could have been better in front of him. Um, and he is obviously experienced and, um, you know, he's a good goaltender. He, he should be able to, to do those things. That's what, you know, got him here. So we believe that he can do that. Thanks, Mario. Thank you. Thanks, Mario. Thomas Portland.